Hey everybody, this is Coach D with TackleTrading.com. I've taught tens of thousands of people how to trade over the last 15 some odd years and I'm an options expert and I'm really excited to have the opportunity to talk to you about the Options Greeks. Now the Options Greeks are the five most important things you need to understand if you want to make money and control risk trading options. And if you stay till the end of the video, you'll have a very clear understanding of what those five key variables are, the options Greeks. And also during the course of this video, you'll be given the opportunity to click on a hyperlink and download the Tackle Trading Options Greeks guide. And you can use that to supplement your studies and just have it as a quick handy reference to make sure you always are on top of those options Greeks. Now, what are the options Greeks, you ask? Well, let's take a closer look. The options Greeks are the variables that we need to understand that help determine what the option premium should be or ought to be. And it's a pretty fancy math formula known as the Black-Scholes model or the Black-Scholes options pricing model. And it's a bit of calculus. This algorithm here accounts for those five key variables we really need to understand. To, again, make money and control risk when we trade options. Now, the first of these key variables is the delta. Now, D for delta, D for direction. That's a little memory hook for you that'll help you recall easily that the delta measures, it's how sensitive the option premium is to movement up or down in the underlying asset price. So if we're talking about a stock option, if the underlying asset stock rose $1, the option premium would change at the rate of delta. If the same stock fell $1, the option premium would also change again at the rate of delta. So D for delta, D for direction. Delta again is the sensitivity of the option premium to a movement in the underlying asset price up or down at the rate of $1. Now that we have a clear understanding of delta, let's take a look at theta. T for theta, T for time. Time is money. Theta is the rate of time decay. It's how sensitive the option premium is to the passage of time. Now, the more time there is in an option before it expires, the more time value will be built into the premium the closer and closer an option gets to the expiration date, the less time value needs to be factored in. And what theta measures is for each calendar day that passes, time value drips out of the option. And so that's the rate of time decay. And each day it gets closer and closer to expiration, the rate of time decay tends to increase until you get to the last so 30 to 60 days of the option until it expires, the rate of time decay starts to increase pretty dramatically. So T for theta, T for time, theta is the rate of time decay that the option premium will lose each calendar day that passes. V for vega, V for volatility. Vega is the measure of how sensitive the option premium is to an increase or decrease of the underlying assets implied volatility at a 1% increment. And so what that really means is, what implied volatility is, is it's the forward-looking estimate of volatility for the underlying assets. So if there's an expectation that you're gonna see a lot of movement in the underlying asset price, then the implication of risk goes up and the, the option premium goes up. If there is in the looking in the future that there's you know not a lot of perceived risk, the option premium will go down because the underlying asset, the implied volatility will go down. So for every 1% change in the underlying assets, implied volatility measure, that's how much the option premium will change uh, up or down depending on which way that implied volatility measurement moves. So V for vega, V for volatility. The next one is gamma. Now, gamma, there's no fancy memory hook. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to get a good memory hook there for you. 
Gamma is also known as velocity. And what gamma is, is it's actually how quickly the delta changes. So as the stock price moves up or down, and the options delta can range between 0.0, .0 and 1.0, and at the money options have a delta of about 0 0.50, so you get about 50 cents on the dollar. Well, gamma is how quickly the delta changes. So gamma is velocity, it relates to delta, we need to understand how it correlates to the delta and it'll help you understand how that delta accelerates or decelerates as the option as the stock price moves and the option value changes. Last but not least is the options row and that's how sensitive the option premium is to a change in risk-free interest rates which is try which is tied to the interest rates paid on treasury notes. So it's really simple. If interest rates rose, well, the premiums would go up to account for the increase in interest. If interest rates fell on the treasury notes, then the, uh, the option premium would go down at the rate of row uh, because it wouldn't need to account for as much interest. So that's the five key option Greeks. And if you click on this link right here, you can download the Tackle Trading Option Greeks Guide and you can get a, get that use that as a study guide for you. Now, let's put this all together real quick. All of those option Greeks, the Vega, the Theta, the Gamma, the Rho, the Delta, the underlying stock price, all of those variables get cranked in, put into that option pricing model, that algorithm, and it spits out the option value. You now have a really clear understanding of those five key option Greeks that we need to understand. And if you click on this link here, you can watch the next video where we go into more depth on the Black-Scholes model. We'll see you there.